Hello traders out there in Traderland. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade. It's Tuesday, May 14th, 2013. The S&P 500 smashes yet another all-time high. Up 1%, up at 1650. That could act as a resistance level. Dow up 0.82%, NASDAQ up 0.7%, Russell's up more than 1%. Banks confirming today's move up by 1.16%. However, the VIX did not confirm today's move. We're saying we are too high. There's a lot of fear out there. We have volatility increasing by 1.75%, knocking at the door at 13 and gold gets hit again, down almost half a percent. Silver down more than 1%, and crude oil off by 0.89% with the U.S. dollar up 0.4%, even with the markets as strong as they are. Unbelievable to see that much strength in the markets and that little effect on the indices. So here you have the trend, and I want everybody to take a look at this, especially the Grok graduates out there. The ones that take have already taken the 301 mentorship. Look at the trend at 0 0.57. I'm expecting a bearish day going into tomorrow. And transportation index up 1.92%, really helping the Dow quite a bit. And and we do have the utilities up 0.47%. Take a look here at the S&P 500. Had this little base that was slightly climbing. Usually when you get this gang. Usually that is a bearish formation, but boom, we continue to go bullish. I am still holding all my longs, but I'll tell you, it would not be out of reason to think that we're not going to get a big red candle tomorrow. Now, that's going to shock a lot of people just because we're hitting these all-time highs, but the bottom line is you just cannot go up at this exponential pace forever, and a lot of times you'll get this big pop at the end of a run right before it rolls over. So be very, very careful going into Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. Now, if that happens, give me some kudos give me some likes give me some comments anyway but if if it blows higher leave <laughs> don't like any of my stuff <laughs> and, and leave a comment saying oh you were wrong but things that are going up are going up things that are going down are going down all i'm doing is sharing with you my 15 years of trading experience saying that after a big run like this you have this last push right before a drop and that could easily happen gold just keeps petering downward silver hovers sideways it needs to get some legs here and soon google is on fire i mean up more than one percent but apple shaved more than two percent today this was a great little pullback i was looking forward to a nice little pop to the north but no can do facebook here a little pop but not so much but at a support level uh if we can remain above the 20 to 50 day moving average and this trend line with a lot of upside potential here so with that thank you so much if you haven't done the 101s do the 101s they're free take you a little while to go through and then your logical next step is the 201s and if you take the 201s that puts you in perfect position to get the most out of the 301 mentorship everyone needs to strive for the 301s. So anyway, if you haven't done the 301s, or if you think you're advanced enough and want to just go right to the 301s, feel free to do that. Anyway, we have a mentorship in just a few days. This weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, call in. Take a sick day on Monday. It'll be the best thing you've ever done in your life. You'll love it. So I hope to have you. And listen to the next videos here and contact us, and we hope we can touch base. This may or may not be you, but traders who come to Grok trade for help are sharp, well-educated, and have made money in the past. However, trading was a real struggle for them. They bought high and sold low. They let small losses turn into large losses. They kept losing money. This does not have to be you. They made a change before it was too late. Grok trade students trade within the live markets with confidence. Get signed up for mentoring today before it's too late for your trading. 
I'm Tim Cole. I'm uh, Mike Reed. My name is Randeep Kapoor. Shane Parker. Hi, I'm Steve Gould. Mary Olson. My name is Spiro Kawajanis. Mike Muller. My name is Caroline Elizan, and I've been day trading all full time for about two and a half years. What did you think of the mentorship? I am just thrilled with it. I think it's a great program. It kept me going, kept my brain moving. In 20 years, I learned this much about trading. Mm. I think that this weekend gave me this much to add on. <laughs> this is actually my second time through mentorship, so this is a refresher for me. And I'm picking up nuggets that I missed the first time around, and I feel more confident to, uh, to use all this information. It's given me a skill level uh, that's a much, much higher level. You learn stuff that you will not learn in any other course. I have, I've taken a bunch of different courses. I've never seen this stuff taught before. No one else teaches it. I mean, you've given us such golden nuggets today, or this week. You know, it's well worth taking this class. It has helped unbelievably. I mean, I can't even explain it. I'm literally at a loss for words right now. So if there was someone out there who was thinking about joining the mentoring class, got kind of on the fence, mm -hmm. what would you tell them? I would definitely say this is something that you need if you're struggling with consistency in your trading results. You need to have good education, good understanding, otherwise you will get killed in the market. You can understand why they're doing what they're doing, how to trade successfully, how to make the proper setups, what you're looking for, and how to go from being a newbie to a professional trader in a short period of time. You're not going to be able, on your own, floundering or just reading yeah. books, to be able to um, sit down and pick the brain of very successful traders and be able to incorporate that into your own trading. You learn something that you didn't know before, and learning is always good, no matter how old you are. Mentoring is all about helping you really get your hands on and practice it. I would tell anybody who's on the fence, took me 20 years to learn this much. This much, and you know what? I mean, maybe it's really this much, but I'm trying to you know, tell you that I know a little bit more. <laughs> and I got this much you know, out of this weekend, so yeah. I think uh, you gotta be crazy to wanna go through years of heartache to learn stuff that experts can teach you right away. I've just realized being here how important it is to get some formal education and training. Um, you, you get so many things from so many di different directions and to have it all brought together and put in front of you, um, your toolkit so you can use it, it's really invaluable.